Hello everybody, Rob Beasley here from the Gaslighter Chronicles with a mouthful of food, my apologies, but I'm hungry. Today's session, or this, this session, session of the session, is get off the fucking fence. In our society, I'll, I'll hold it, oh, in our society we have this problem and it's a huge one. And I mean globally. It's where people justify inaction. And when they justify inaction, they enable, they enable, they enable negative behaviours that harm society and individuals and groups and it's like pissing in the water. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Once you get used to the practice, um, and maybe that's what we'll do, uh, you know, depending on who comes on board today, we might talk about methods of getting off the fence but the underlying principles the code of the human spirituality condition doesn't vary doesn't vary so you've got to apply it strictly you've got to live by the law so to speak live by the code all right i'm just going to go and see if anyone's about and invite anyone and sundry um, so hold on to your hats this will be an interesting one Hey, Z. I'm having something to eat. So, this is the last one. <laughs> hey, damn. been a huge help just like Adam was absolutely brilliant breathtaking was so where we're at is this um, the 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 baddies the gaslighters um, dirty rotten filthy mongrels from um, uh, all parts unknown about 200 of them hey troll la 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 hey he's doing good mate good 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 so the ne'er do wells, what they've done is they've rang uh, Mercy Health and they're trying to get me put in. So did my daughter. This is the same hat pattern that happened last time. And my wife's, a, you know, implicated in a in a sort of a way. Now yeah, right. I don't have have any grudges against those people, but I just want to try my best because I know that they're going to do their best to put me in. I've got to try my best to stay out. So what I've done is I've uh, rang, oh, I've still got to ring the adv advocate um, to help us, so just give me a reminder on that. Um, but everything else I think is in place as good as it needs to be. I've got, what I want to do now is talk about something that near to the heart, and it's this concept of people that sit on the fence which is pretty much 95% of people on the planet. I know, and I know for fucking sure, that when people sit on the fence, they know that something's wrong. Why? Because they have the same instincts that we all have. 
but they choose to feed the bad wolf or to be self-serving and they turn a blind eye and make up all manner of excuses for inaction. That sort of behaviour's got to fucking stop. And it'll be a massive, it'll have a massive impact on humanity. Massive. I mean, you'd never see, if, you, if we behaved like that as a, a human species, you'd never see probably 95% of the drama and heartache that you have around the world. You just wouldn't. And that all comes from living by the code. Which code? The two instincts code. Hey, uh, the helper, do you understand what I talk, when I talk about, you know, the spirituality and the duality of spirituality? Spirituality being a reality. Yeah, on the, yeah, okay, got it. Um, so oh, I'm talking to my friend that I abused when he was 15. You know. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, he's, he's made. He's 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 an important person in my life, anyway, and an important person. Now, um, so good. You know that. You know that. So, do you accept then the helper? That, or sorry, do you know? Do you know what I mean by the uh, the fence sitter problem? The fence sitter problem. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't know, all right? Oh, you you do, I think. But I'll just verbalise it, and you can say, "Got it, got it, got it." When a person, so the prime problem in human society is psychologically bullying by people with an ego against people that are nice and good people. They bully him around and it happens a lot. But that's one part of the problem, right? The second, so there are three points that we can, or sorry, there are three points we can fix that problem. You say three, but hang on, there's bully, victim, that's only two. What's the third one? Well, I'll tell you. You can fix the problem by e educating the bully or fucking smacking him around until he knows, please, for something to stop him. Um, the victim can learn techniques to handle how to handle the attack, the psychological attack. I cover that in my channel of the, the um, Good Wolf. You'll find in there an, uh, an article or, sorry, a video that addresses identifying the attack format and then defence against the tap format. So what's this third element? Well, the third element is when people that are witnesses to the bullying, they can actually take some action. And I'm saying they must. Humans have got to, because what they do at the moment, they sit on the fence. They observe. They're like um, drama queens. They just observe and they enable the bullier. They allow the bullying to happen. So what, they sh what should they do? They should protect choose to either protect the victim um, by supporting the victim in any way necessary and they'll know how to do that or kicking the bully in the nuts until their nose bleeds and they then, um, that, that modifies the behaviour. So if we all adopt this practice, bing it a bing it a bar of a bing boom boom, life on planet Earth will be a lot better. So the helper, do you get the idea, Ben Sitter, Ben Sitter, you know? Big crowd, bully victim, big crowd around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, geez, the way you express yourself, mate, it's just absolutely delightful. All right, so now, so there it is. So what we need now, so we all know. Hey, Down, do you know what I'm talking about? He's gone walkabouts. Every time I've got something interesting to say, he fucks off. Now, <laughs> watch the video tape. Colin, do you understand what I'm talking about? No. Nah. <laughs> He's gone walkabout. Oh, dear, oh, dear. All righty. Well, it means that we're in good company because that means that people are doing, peeps are doing what people want to do. So, what's happening to me hey, right Rob, now? Hey, Rob, yeah, I heard you. I'm, I'm, I'm in the kitchen, so let me start that. Yeah, well, this is important, Dan. Um, very important to me, anyway. So what's happening to me now is that I'm uh, the victim. The bullies are in action 
And the question remains, will the fence sitters do anything effective? And that's where you come in, the helper. You'll be the one that knows what to do effectively. Effectively. So I want to ask you to actually lead any... So if I disappear, like not come on mine, I want you to lead lead um, these nut nuts. And I'll give the other guys some heads up. <laughs> so I want you to lead the, the key word being effective. And so what's got to happen is I've got to block them from taking me into hospital and medicating me. I want to sort of stop those two things. That's the goal. Now, there isn't anyone around here local that can help. And I'd take a million years and Sundays to try and convince them that I needed help. I suspect what they're actually doing is driving up from Melbourne. They said that they're going to use a local agency. I think that's bullshit. So I reckon there are people coming up from Melbourne and their agenda is to actually take me physically back with them. That's not my preference. So, what? yeah, I was thinking about that. I was actually thinking about that. And I might, I might still do it. You might have the right advice. Oh, no, but the problem with that, there is a problem. If you do that, then you'll be on the run. I don't want to be on the run. I want to sort of stay communicating with everybody. So that's the problem with that. I think, unless you've got another thought, because you seem to be pretty switched on. Because I actually started that process. I was halfway down to another another rural area, and I just thought, mm, I don't know, it just didn't seem right. Hello, viewers. <laughs> What you could do. Yeah, okay, I got it. I understand what you mean by that. Hey, what you could do for me is kill those <laughs> top dogs. <laughs> but, uh, you know, get some other near to help do it and let them do the crime time. Um, so they are the people of, that need to be really brought undone. Cerberus Hex. Cerberus Hex, I'll actually put it in the side trap. So these are the key, the rest of the near do well, so I don't really worry about them that much. These are the ones that need to be sorted. Cer Cerberus Hex. What about Brother John? Yeah, Brother John. Now, are you back and uh, ready to listen, Dan? Yeah, I heard you in the kitchen. I just couldn't respond. Oh, all right. So, yeah, Dan, you seem to have it going on, I think. I think you got it going on. You might be my first conversion ever. Um, so, you see, the thing is, when you're in the zone, Dan, yeah. even though it could be the most exciting thing in the world, you're still going to go out and get your fucking hot dog. <laughs> Because that's what's important. Um, yeah, down, listening. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Hang on, hang on, this could be then. Is that a telemarketer, Rob? Back and now charity thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's crap. Yeah. Anyway. Down, down, down. I need you to lead the anyone that's willing to support me. That's why the title is Get Off the Fence. Now you understand the get off the fence concept, right? Yep. 
Right. So I need you to stir up and try and get as much support as possible so that if I am picked up and I am taken away, I want you guys to enact something to get me out of there, spring me from the, from the prison. You're down, down. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the helper is your number one asset. You must do what he says. Okay, I agree. Yeah, well, you're the lead, but he's the he's the boss. <laughs> if he says something, just trust him and just do what do what he says. All right, good. That's in place. Lovely. I'm feeling fantastic now. So, Cerebus Hex, brother John, just, just scream out some names. Um, as we, oh, Jello, Jello shots. Yeah, fatty Jello. Yeah, and as I'm writing these down, down. I, you know, I'm cringing at each one. I really have bad, you know, usually I like people, but these people bring the worst out of me. So I know by that that I'm actually targeting the right people, the right bullies. Sydney with Sydney Winston. Oh, now this one, this one bloody drives me spare. Spazzy Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> the Almighty. Um, now, uh, 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 uh. Bully Doggy, Bull Dad, one oh one. Hello, viewer number two. Um, 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 um. Who, who? Can you think of any others? Oh, Cranky Frankie Green. Hello, viewer number three. Now, this list of people, right, anything should happen to me, I'd like you to consider. Well, actually, you don't have to ask. Um, we can hand it off to the young'uns, I think, and they'll find a way and they'll come back to you if they need anything. Well, especially especially Troy. You know, Troy's like Einstein. Oh, mate. Well, no, um, I, I tell you, I've met Troy. <laughs> no, I the, the helpers are, you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't like to go there because you might fucking start a war that you can't handle. Uh, Cranky Frankie Green, Bulldog. Um, so who else have we got? Yeah, hey, Dad. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. You want some fish and chips? Hi. You want some fish and chips? Oh, no. A bit okay. But I'm going to have a play on the computer for 10 minutes, Rob. All right. Now, Mum wants the computer, dude, so we'll have to wrap this up. Hey, hey Rob, right. is there any, Rob, is there any way you can log in on your phone? Uh, no, the phone battery's dead, so no. Okay. We'll be right. Uh, you guys can carry on the having the chat, but I think one, one thing you guys should appreciate, and I'm seeing it here, we don't talk much. We talk very specifically, very sharp, pointed. So, you know, we get through it. So I just want to see if there's anyone else that would go on the list. I'm just trying to think. Uh, what about... What about uh, oh, what about? Ubuntu. He's a, he's a real pain. Uh, yeah, but I think Ubuntu might still have hope. What about Bob the Flop? No, no, Ubuntu, mate. Ubuntu is big time. I want him on top of the list. Yeah, what about Bob the Flop? Who? Oh, Bobby, yeah, yeah, good one, good one. And fizzy, 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 fizzy. Yeah, fizzy, 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 fizzy. What about Amy? No, no way. She's my new friend. What What about Phantom? No. Um, hmm. 
Who else is there? Uh, uh, Steve McRae. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Oh, I've got another one. Um, um, JD Kane. Yep. Um, uh, uh, Russ, Russ, whatever yep. his name is. Russ. Um, is, is Toasty is Toasty still on our no, side? Toasty's good. Toasty's good. Okay. Holly, Holly's good too, but um, yeah, they're, trying, they're trying to they're trying to turn Holly against you. I understand that, but if I just get time with her, I'll I'll fix it probably within a se session. So I know exactly what I need to do there. Yeah. There's got there's got to be one big one that we're missing though too. Uh, hey. What? Armando. Yes. 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 All right, will you let me have a two-minute line of blog? Yes, I nearly finished, Mum. Just finish this and you can have it. Give me a minute. Yep. All right. Yep. I think that'll do it, guys, because Mum wants yep. the computer. So, um, the, the, any questions? The, the. Yeah. Now, we'll be here, Rob, in, a, in an hour or two when you come back. Yeah. Okay, nothing at the moment. Uh, guys, give give the utmost respect, please, for the helper. All right, see you. See you, Rob.